Hi there, welcome to BSF Recovery Team. Guess what we got in the mail today? We got a fuel tank. Oh, look at that. Checking out my fuel tank for the snowcat. What do you got? Well, I think I know what I have, but you need to pick all these foamy thingies up. I will. All of it. Yep, I will. Okay. So, we got a little 17 and a half gallon fuel tank. I know it's not as big as what's on it, um, but the plan is, is to put two of them on it, one on each side, uh, because we need the room in the middle for the uh, for a real tow truck boom that we're eventually going to put on it. What do you, what do you got? I have my spacers. I know they're my spacers. Okay. See? Oh, yes. Your wheel spacers. <laughs> well, I suppose we better get those on and get the rollers on Blondie, huh? Yes! together. Excellent. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Now we need some 14 millimeter lug nuts to hold this on because these are 9 sixteenths to match the front. I got this. I have a feeling you were going to say, I don't have enough lug nuts. So, I just grabbed something. So you went to the store and got 14 millimeter lug nuts? I know, the guy says they're common. Okay. And I got me a magnet. Ah. But this is a eight pounder. I can hold yes. eight pound things. These are 14 by 1.5, perfect. So open those up. Perfect. Okay. 
Anne. Ich keep dropping my nuts. Ja. Okay, we'll have to retort those. That should be enough clearance. Oh, we're drunk. What are you doing? Oh, well, I was just looking at the off-road games here. Okay, so do you know who our partner is for the off-road games? Um, yes, it's this guy right here. 
Project Farm. I'm Todd from the Project Farm YouTube channel. I typically review products such as jack stands or impact drivers or other types of tools, but I'm about to do something quite a bit different and I'm really excited about it. I just found out that I'll be working with Eric from BSF Recovery on driving his Jeep at the Matt's Off-Road Recovery event. Anyway, I'm looking forward to meeting you out at the games and having a great time. Well, it sounds like he's all excited for that, which reminds me, I gotta go find a sniper system for the Jeep. Oh, in Vegas at Gabe's building. Yes. Oh, here we go. I wonder how Gabe's doing on the Jeep. Uh, Let's go check in with him. Okay. Hey guys, Gabe with BSF. Here's your daily update. Woke up this morning, Amazon, they brought me some boomerang shackles. So I went and got some two by four rec tube quarter wall so I can make a new rear frame section to hold the shackles. Uh, also went and picked up some mounts, got those welded up. It's rainy, a, we lost power at my house here in Las Vegas. So I went out and got some 12 ton jack stands. That'll help me get this Jeep off the ground a little bit so I can start tearing this rear end apart. Well, today starts it. This rear end is going away. There's enough terrifying things going on back here that I don't even want to get into it. But we got this little rear end back here going under. Soon enough, we'll see what our ride height in the rear is going to be. Hey guys, Gabe with BSF. Wow, I am a dirt ball. Sorry about being so ugly, everybody. Anyways, it's the end of the day. You can tell by the failing light. Uh, my neighbors have tolerated me all day cutting and hammering and making all sorts of noise. Uh, that being said, I got this Dana 35 out from underneath the Jeep. I got this fuel tank out from underneath the Jeep. I got this 14 bolt underneath the Jeep with XJ leaf springs. I still need to make my shackle mounts for the rear uh, cross member and final weld everything. I still have plenty of work to do. So I'm gonna get some rest, I'm gonna eat some dinner, I'm gonna enjoy my wife for a little while, and I'll be back at it tomorrow where I can start overthinking that one. That Dana 60 is, uh, I built that for my JK. We're gonna modify it and make it work under a YJ. I have some coilovers that might be quick and easy um, FOA, it's a local company here in Las Vegas. I know guys that have raced with them and they do okay. They're, they're good. Enough for me. I am not a race car driver. I don't race in the desert. I like to crawl in the mountains, uh, ride some dirt bikes, ride motorcycles, and play with my Jeep. You can't see my Jeep really. I guess you can see the grill a little bit over there. That's my JK. It's a little nod to Minnesota life. My daughter named it Gilbert after the Gilbert Off-Road Park because, well, when she was a kid, she didn't like the Rubicons tearing Gilbert up. So now we have a Gilbert instead of a Rubicon. But this YJ, that's gonna be a thing of fun. Just to go out, treat it like a rental. So that being said, Eric, I hope I'm doing this build justice for the games. And uh, I hope somebody's not afraid to get in it and treat it like a rental. $1,600. Oh, that's spendy. Out of pocket. So don't forget to become a supporter of that Jeep and get your name on it. Check out the link in our description. So that's what it looks like with 35-inch tires on it. 40-inch tires will make it about 2.5 inches taller. Well, should we roll it out of there so we can get a good look at it? Yes. Okay.
Well, what do you think? Let's see you get in. Okay, so is it easier or harder to get in than the wrecker? It's easier. Easier? I need higher tires. Okay, we'll get 40s for it, or 42s. I need it so the mud, when I go in deep mud puddles, it doesn't come into my feet. Yeah? I need tall ones. Okay. Hey guys, don't forget, go get your Blondie shirts. They're amazing. Those aren't 6AN fittings. Huh. Well, now we can get the wrecker in on the hoist, give it a once over before next weekend. Yes, we have an event to go to next weekend. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there. Maybe we'll see you in the woods.